Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you receive your credit card statement, you will want to reconcile your credit card account. This ensures purchases and payments are properly tracked and helps prevent unauthorized use of the credit card. After reconciling the credit card account, QuickBooks Online Plus also offers to automatically enter a check to pay the credit card now or enter a bill to pay the credit card later. You can also choose to manually enter a check or bill to pay the credit card later if desired. To reconcile a credit card account, click the gear button and then click the reconcile link under the tools heading to open the reconcile page. Select the credit card account from the account dropdown. Enter the ending balance and the ending date from the account statement. If you had any finance charges on the statement, enter the amount into the finance charge field. Then select the date the finance charges were applied by using the adjacent date drop-down. Finally, select the account used to account for finance charges by using the expense account drop-down. Then click the Start Reconciling button to open the Reconcile Account Name window. Like when reconciling a bank account, you go through your credit card statement and match all of the items to the entries within QuickBooks. The account transactions as of the statement ending date appear on the charges, Payments, and All tabs. You can click these tabs to filter the transactions in the list below to display only the associated types of account transactions. Clicking the Charges tab shows charges in the transaction list. Clicking the Payments tab shows payments only within the transaction list. Clicking the All tab shows both charges and payments. Match each item in the credit card statement with the corresponding item in QuickBooks Online and click the small circles at the right end of the matching transaction rows to mark them as cleared by placing a check mark in the circles. After all the transactions have been found and marked as cleared, the difference shown in the upper right corner of the window should be zero. This means every account transaction in the statement has been matched to a transaction in QuickBooks Online and therefore the transactions in both versions of the account are reconciled. The drop-down button in the upper right corner of the page lets you manage the account reconciliation. After successfully reconciling the account, select the Finish Now command from this drop-down button to save it and close the page. To save your work to finish reconciling the account later or to leave to investigate an account discrepancy, select the Save for Later command from this drop-down button to save your work and close the page. You can return to finish the account reconciliation later. Selecting the Close Without Saving command from this drop-down button opens a We'll Remove All Your Changes confirmation prompt window. To remove all your changes and close the reconciliation, click the Close Without Saving button in the prompt window. To return to the reconciliation, click the Go Back button in the prompt window. After clicking the Finish Now button, a success, you reconciled your account window appears on screen. Here you can pay all or a portion of the credit card balance by selecting one of the two options, pay all or a portion of the bill now, or enter a bill to pay later. If you don't want to enter a bill or make a payment right now, click the Done button instead. Clicking the View Report button in this window shows the account's reconciliation report. If you click the Pay All or a Portion of the Bill Now link, QuickBooks Online Plus creates a check to pay the credit card balance. Simply select the vendor to pay by using the Select a Payee drop-down within the check window and verify the details of the check to ensure its accuracy. Then either choose one of the Save buttons to save the check or click the Print Check link to print the check. If you click the Enter a Bill to Pay Later link, QuickBooks creates a bill to pay the balance of the credit card account. Select the correct vendor to pay by using the Select a Vendor drop-down within the bill window and verify the details of the bill to ensure its accuracy. Then choose one of the Save buttons within the Bill window to save the bill for payment later. If you click the Done button, QuickBooks does nothing to pay the credit card balance. It simply leaves the balance in the account. You will need to manually enter a bill or create a check later to pay the balance in the credit card account. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.